In early October of 2018, the Toledo Zoo and its partners conducted a reintroduction effort on the Maumee River. Hundreds of fellow conservationists gathered in celebration of the lake sturgeon. The Great Sturgeon Release was a partnership including the Toledo Zoo, the Ohio Division of Wildlife, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the U.S. Geological Survey. The day was a celebration for not only the return of the lake sturgeon, but also a celebration of the Maumee River and the ultimate host, our Great Lake Erie. The sturgeon made its presence known throughout the grounds as hundreds of people participated in the release, one sturgeon at a time. This prehistoric fish is native to Lake Erie and its tributaries. However, it was nearly fished to extinction by the early 1900s. Fast forward to today, and the sturgeon has been getting some much needed help in its recovery. Located at the Toledo Zoo, this trailer has been transformed into a sturgeon rearing facility. Here, the fish are fed and cared for until they're big enough for release. So this is a trailer that uh, was funded by Great Lakes Fish and Wildlife Restoration Act funds and U.S. Fish and Wildlife directly to build at the Toledo Zoo a streamside sturgeon rearing facility. So this is one of probably about 12 that are operational in the Great Lakes. So what we have going on in this trailer is we're rearing fish that were collected out of the St. Clair Detroit River population by our uh, partners at U.S. Fish and Wildlife here in contact with Maumee River water. So the eggs have been raised in contact with this water, the fry have been raised, and we've been since raising the fish. They're growing at about a centimeter a week. And the hope is that we're tricking these fish into believing that they were born here. So they're gonna be released in the Maumee River in the fall. They're gonna swim out to Lake Erie, spend their lives out there for the next 10 to 15 years, and return to where they think they were born because of the streamside facility and spawn in the Maumee River. Before the release, each fish is implanted with a special chip designed to identify every individual as they move up and down the Maumee River and finally out into Lake Erie. So the lake sturgeon was once a very abundant fish in Lake Erie. I don't think people realize in the eight, I think it was 1885 was the largest harvest of lake sturgeon out of Lake Erie. It was several tons of fish that were taken out of there. And I don't think anybody really appreciates that. So what we're doing is restoring a critical component to the Lake Erie fisheries and a unique species that's been absent from the Maumee River for a very long time. These are an ancient fish. I mean, these date back to the dinosaur era and they've been absent from this river for a very long time. Back at the big sturgeon party, happy days for all of the sturgeon heading into the Maumee River for the first time. It's an experience not likely to happen again soon, which is why young and old alike were seen lending a hand, knowing they were actively promoting conservation and helping to share the future of Lake Erie with the return of the Lake Sturgeon.